This will be a quick guide on how to install DLSS Super Resolution uh, DLA for Elden Ring. So, um, just before we begin, it requires Elden Ring 1.10.1, also supported NVIDIA hardware. We're going to need Reshade with full add-on support. We'll obviously need to download this mod, which will help us enable it. And we'll need to make sure that the game is in offline mode so that we prevent any bans. In your system graphics menu, you will need to make sure, uh, set, your set your resolution to your target resolution, i.e. your monitor's resolution when in full screen mode. So if you've got a 1080p monitor, then stick it on 1080p. Also need to set the anti-aliasing quality to high in advanced settings, uh, which makes the game render the buffers required for us to enable the DLSS and the vanilla game's TAA to be bypassed by the mod. Um, cool, so what we need to do first is we'll download Reshade. I'll link all of this down below so you can uh, easily get to it. We do need to make sure that we download Reshade with full add-on support. That's very important. So just click on that and that will download for you. Uh, download the mod, it's just manual download. And to set the game in offline mode, I will link to one of my mod pages. And if you just manually download this, disable EAC for offline play. And once you've downloaded those three things, we are good to go. So, um, in fact, I just need to download, download that quickly. There we go. We've got the three items that we need. So we'll disable EAC first, which will force the game offline, which is a, is a requirement to prevent us getting banned. So we will extract. We're going to copy and paste this into the game folder. Your game folder is going to be wherever your Steam is installed. Steam apps, common, Elden Ring game. Copy that in and replace. So the game will now launch in offline mode. If you do want to go back online, it's very simple. Delete that. Go to Steam revalidate the game files and it will download again and it will allow you to go back online. Just make sure you're not going back online with mods because you will get banned. I'm just going to put this back into the game folder. Make sure we're going offline. There we go. And we can just delete that. Next we'll install Reshade and remember download the one with the add-on support. Let's run that. And as you can see, this build of Reshade is intended for single player games only and it may cause bans in multiplayer games. So again, that is why we're putting the game offline. That's very important. You want to select the Elden Ring EXE. If it's not there, go to Browse and we already know where our EXE is. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Elden Ring Game. There it is. Select it. Open. Next. We will select DirectX 10, 11, 12. At this stage, I will ask you to select the shaders you want to install. I've already installed Reshade, so I'm just going to press Update. Um, for yourself, just install the basic ones that are already selected. So just hit, just hit Next and then Finish. And that's Reshade installed. Can delete that and then lastly we've got our mod we're just going to unpack it extract it and we're going to right click and copy into the game folder i've already got them in there so it's just asking me to replace and that's it so what we'll do now is we'll launch the game 
I've got mods installed, so I launched the game through a uh, mod, mod engine 2. If you don't have any mods installed, then you'll just be launching your game as normal through the through the game EXE. So don't don't worry about what I'm launching from here. Now, as you can see, reshades installed up the top. Once we're in game, we'll use the home key and we'll open up the menu. I'm just going to turn this music down, this is probably really loud, sorry about that. Okay, so we can open Reshade with the home key and we can see the add-on is here. We can move this about. Uh, we can see that it's enabled and you can choose the quality level so I think it's I think it it will be quality when you first open it I've actually changed it to DLEA um, and yeah let's just close close that down we'll go in game Now, if you've played Elden Ring at 1080p, you will know that it doesn't look great with the, the vanilla TAA. You will notice on, you know, on the grass at a distance, you'll have, you know, shimmering, lots of noise. But with DLA enabled, it just looks, it looks amazing. It's, yeah, it's, it's night and day difference. Yeah, it looks great. Looks really good. This is probably, like, if you're playing at 1080p, this is hands down the best visual upgrade you can do to the game. So yeah, I hope that helps, and yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching, guys.